for part of a sustainable agricultural capital grant scheme, this department are requiring geotagged photographs to be submitted as proof of uh, ownership of the relevant item you've purchased. So this short video will explain how to geotag your photographs, uh, whether using an Android phone or an iPhone. So I'm here with an Android device. Um, and what we want to do to start with is we want to check that our location services are switched on. So the location services are uh, the GPS coordinate that links uh, to where your device is within the country. So if we scroll down from the top uh, and then we scroll down again, uh, what we want to look for here is your location services. So you'll see you can just scroll to the left or the right um, and you'll see there that in the top row the location uh, is switched on. So that's the first step. Uh, the second step then that we want to do is we want to go to settings um, then we want to go to applications um, so if we just scroll down until we find it and um, we then want to find the camera uh, so again we swipe down to see find the camera uh, and then it's the permissions so we click the permissions and um, we can then see that uh, clicking button on the location we, that we can see that every time the camera uh, app is open that it has got permission to, to use the location services. So the third step there is we want to open the camera. So if we click the, the camera button, um, we can then uh, click the settings in the top left hand corner. Um, if we then scroll down, um, we can see the location tags. So the location tags uh, are now switched on. Uh, so that's the last and final step. Uh, and then if we go and take a picture, um, just in front of us here, if we, we take a picture, um, we can then open that picture up. Uh, and then if you click the V3 dots down the bottom right, you can go to details. Uh, and that will show you there that uh, where the picture was taken. Um, so that's the three steps uh, involved in the Android camera. Um, we'll now just move on to the, the iPhone. So we're now on an iPhone. What we want to do is uh, click on settings. Um, we then scroll down and find privacy. Um, we then click on location services. So we can see that's switched on. Um, so if it's not on, switch it on. We then click on location services. Uh, and if we scroll down there, we'll see camera. Now you can see that camera says that it's the, the location services are, are on whilst using. So uh, we want to go in and click that, make sure it's on while using the app. Um, we then can go and take a picture and we can see that the location services <coughs> and the geotags uh, are switched on for the pictures that we take. So now that we've got our uh, pictures taken, uh, if we plug our phone into our laptop using the charging cable, um, we can then begin to download the images. Uh, so if you go to your file explorer, um, you'll then find uh, your phone um, in the left hand side. Uh, you might need to go onto your phone and give it permission to access the phone. So we click on that, we then click on the phone, uh, we click on DCIM uh, and then if we go to camera we'll have a list of the pictures that we've taken and um, we can then copy and paste that onto the desktop. Um, and if we go to copy and paste that onto the desktop we can then right click uh, the file and hit properties uh, and then if we go to details and you scroll down you can then see the GPS latitude and longitude of where that image was taken. Um, so that's the third and final step. And as long as you've got this information there, you can then upload that onto the SACGS uh, claim portal uh, and then you've successfully geotagged your photograph. Uh, a few things to note that uh, if you send these pictures through WhatsApp or if you use it you're using your Snapchat camera or the WhatsApp camera, uh, the geotag won't work. Uh, it needs to be taken by the, the camera itself. Uh, and another couple of tips is that if you email these photographs, uh, the geotag should be okay. But if you then forward that email on, uh, you'll lose the, the geotag information. So the best way to do it uh, is to plug your phone directly into your computer, uh, save that image off it and then upload it onto the SESGS portal.